Our number one goal is to avoid progression of their disease. And if we expose them to contrast and cardiovascular procedures that can cause acute kidney injury, we can actually accelerate or worsen their renal function. So we're really trying to prevent that. Contrast volume threshold is very important. We really want to monitor contrast like we do radiation, where we're keeping account of how much contrast dye we're using. A threshold tells everybody in the cath lab where we want to stop or slow down with our contrast injections. And it also guides us to tell us where the risk for that patient really increases with regards to the volume of dye and the renal function. It's a real-time monitoring, again, much like radiation, allows us to know shot by shot how much dye we've used, and we can tailor our approach accordingly. So we may stage a patient for an intervention at a later date. Uh, we may decide to stop a procedure if we're not uh, proceeding the way we want to, and we've reached that contrast uh, dose limit. So the types of procedures that I would think about using Divert Plus on are, uh, one, obviously the patient has chronic kidney disease and needs a coronary or peripheral angiogram. Uh, heart failure patients who are de decompensated, they may benefit from this uh, use of this technology. Diabetic patients. Uh, and then the less common uh, patients that you may not think about are the ones that have normal renal function and no diabetes, but are going to get a prolonged uh, exposure to contrast, a complicated procedure with hemodynamic shifts, those patients may actually also benefit from the use of this technology. Using Divert Plus in a STEMI patient is actually quite uh, ideal, and now with the Divert Easy, it's e even quicker setup so that uh, concern about impinging on the door to balloon time may be less if you can set up the system early. Patients who have uh, STEMI, they come in without us knowing about their renal function. So we don't have labs back and that population is at risk for acute kidney injury. So the Divert Easy makes sense in that population. The Divert Plus system, uh, what do I really like about it? The fact that I can monitor their contrast use uh, shot by shot over time, I can set thresholds, and then I know that I can get 40% savings compared to not using it. So it really gives me a buffer in terms of doing complex procedures.